Hey guys, this is Kaliwali with yet another tutorial. A hunter tutorial. The past hunter tutorials I made were very successful and some people asked me, Hey Scully, if you find some secret pets or some not so obvious pet, can you please let us know in a small video? Yes, I can. We are going to talk about Aradan, the pet that you see on my left here that is so graciously bowing to you now. Is a secret pet that is not so obvious to find if you don't know how to get it. So there are three things you have to do to get this pet. The first thing is you have to be a minimum of level 70 on a hunter, a BM hunter. Yes. The second thing you're going to need is the void scarred hammer. I storm hammer. I will discuss this later in the video. And you're going to have to kill the first boss in the rookery. But don't worry, because you can do that solo, 100%, guaranteed, if you follow this guide. And then the next step is actually taming Aradan. All in all, this entire process will take you approximately 10 to 15 minutes max. And it's a guaranteed thing to get. So with no further ado, let's step into the guide, shall we? So, step one is the Void Scarred Storm Hammer. Yeah, we're gonna add the location for your Tom Tom add on in the description so you can just copy paste it. The first thing I would highly recommend, it's not mandatory, but I would highly recommend it, is just use a sea turtle mount or something because those are way faster underwater. Just add one. As you can see me doing here on your action bar now. As you can see here as well, the item we are after is pretty deep into the water. What means basically is it's gonna take you a little bit of time to fly there. For me, it's not in miles, but in kilometers. Because yes, I live in Europe and some countries do still use kilometers. And I'm gonna speed this part up so we can actually see where the item is located. Okay, so I arrived just above the location of the Void Scarred Stormhammer. What you should do now, as you can see, we are in open sea, not in the fatigue areas yet, but we are very far into sea now. Just step on one of your aquatic mounts here. And it's going to be way easier because these mounts are going way faster. It's really hard to see, but the thing you should aim for is this seaweed here. And it's between the rocks somewhere. As you can see here, it's, it does not light up, but it is located here, as you can see. There you go. Just pick this up. There you go. You got the first part. And this is basically just the hardest part. Just because, yeah, if you don't know where it is, then it can be a pain. Okay, let's go to the next part. Okay, now we have the hammer and we are the appropriate level. The next thing you should do is queue for a follower dungeon because that's the easiest to do it. You can do it with a specific dungeon as well with other people, but then you're going to have to ask them. So the easiest is to do it with follower dungeons. You're going to take the rookery here. As you can see, the rookery is available. I am. 73 but it can be done at 70 because the rookery is a leveling dungeon so just queue up for the rookery here <coughs> find group as you're gonna see the queue is pretty instant it took a few seconds here and the next thing you're gonna do is clear up everything up to the next boss The first boss is dead. All you have to do now is jump down here, pick up an arrow so you don't kill yourself while jumping down. We're going down the entire level here. And then we are going to the left, to the terrace area. So the terrace area is over here. So when you jump down 
to your left up these stairs here. Be sure you have the hammer, the void card hammer, on your action bar so you can ac easily access it. And there is Aradon flying already, as you can see him here. Just stand on this pile of rocks here. And once he is passing by, hit him with the hammer. Just target him and hit him, like I just did now. He will land here. Now, all you have to do is dismiss your pets, if you haven't already. Dismiss your pets and tame your new pet. You can always put a, a few things in front of it, like your tar trap and your uh, freezing trap. If you want to be 100% sure, but that will normally not be mandatory. As you can see here. And there you go. Now you have Aradon. A new secret hunter pet. Isn't he nice? Thanks for watching guys. Hope you liked this guide. And see you in my next video. Bye bye.